Sana is really about the individual child. Each child here has a program that's developed for them. Ready, set, go. Moshe, put your pieces in the middle. Their schedule will look different from the child sitting right next to them in the same class during that same day. Their goals are different and the, the progress will be different and the process by which we work towards, towards those goals will be different. We take the child, we commit ourselves to working with that child, and we create whatever that child needs to be successful in school and in life. All right, let's give a big clap for Menachem. Today I would like to speak about Thanksgiving. We really serve students that uh, along the entire spectrum of special needs, all the way from students who are non-readers in high school, students with developmental disabilities and mental retardation, all the way through our highest functioning students with learning disabilities. These are students who go off to mainstream yeshivas in, in Israel and, and mainstream colleges and integrate into society just like everybody else. You wouldn't even know that they, that they are Sinai graduates. People ask me, how many programs do we have? Well, we have five schools. We have two residences, but really, if last year we had 125 children, we had 125 programs. We're here to give children an education in a Jewish environment where they're learning reading and math and science and social studies and doing gym and art and music, but at the same time they're learning about their heritage, they're learning how to dab and they're learning how to be part of their community. Jacob was a very nonverbal child. He moved over to Sinai and he immediately became involved with the other kids in his class. They either were wanting to be friends with him or take care of him. He gets so much joy out of any davening, any learning. It's been great. It's really amazing to see his progress. The other day I walked past a classroom and I saw him participate in tefillah with his age level peers. And he was part of the chevra. He's part of the group. And I thought how remarkable it is for him and for our children to have that opportunity. Zev has been given a tremendous education on a wide range of subjects and a great mix with Kushner. And the Jewish education has been phenomenal for Zev. And I picture it in my mind like lifting Zev up so that he can function not just in a special ed environment but in a mainstream environment. Our children participate in Sinai activities and Sinai students participate in our activities. And in many cases, it's in indistinguishable who is a, a student in Sinai and who is a student in the mainstream. There's a nice partnership between the Sinai faculty and the Kushner faculty. And what we found is a group of very dedicated Sinai teachers who really go more than the extra mile. And it's really a nice symbiotic relationship. We learn Mishnah, we learn Chumash, we learn Halacha, we learn Parsha, we learn all these things like in a regular yeshiva. They shouldn't feel any different. Some of the guys know that things are a little bit harder for them, but that's our job to make sure we get it through to them. As an educator, again, I believe it's important for our students to learn from every different type of person, to meet every different type of person, and to be impacted by everything that everyone has to offer. Today we were in the gym, we were playing basketball with them, it was very nice. They had fun, we had fun. And for us, it's good to help them out. They don't get as many chances as we do. It's a part of TABC, so we have a lot of interaction with each other. 
And uh, we have chagigos with them, we play with them, we see them in the hallways, high five them all the time. They're our friends. I learned that really like their thinking process is not all that different. It may come a bit slower than it would to us, but they really, they think the same things, they have the same ideas. I think it's a good school because I get help with like reading computers and they take good care of you. Sign is a good school and I want to be a singer and a rabbi. Part of our goals is what happens to the student after they graduate. So we're not just looking at their life here at Sinai now, we're looking at long term. What's going to be the next step? And everybody is working as a team and together we go from success to success. We're very excited to be in these labs, the state of our facility, and our hosts, uh, the Kushner School, has really given our students the opportunity to uh, really have the top-notch education that their peers do. Our students graduate with a high school diploma, which means they have to have four years of science, of history, of English, and math, um, on top of the Judaics, um, to really give them an all-encompassing program. Having our students mainstream with the Kushner students is a plus for both. The school will mainstream in history, in English and some of the Judaic subjects, as well as phys ed. You know, we will have boys and girls on some of the school teams, uh, basketball, wrestling, soccer. The Sinai classes are very small and like different, and the mainstream classes are very big and interesting because everyone's asking questions. They're smaller classes, so it's easier to concentrate. This year, in mainstream, it made me feel more comfortable around people. I, I definitely think Rabbi Roth acts to make my life a little better for making our life better in Sinai. The residential program arose about nine years ago first with the men's program and subsequently this is our first full-time year for the women's program. We felt that once they graduated from school, as much as possible, further these young people's independent living skills. We actually write curricula for every single part of their daily routine. Even something that we see so simple as picking up the phone and leaving a message might be a two-month curriculum. I love it. I love living in town so much. I have a job, I'm making money, and I just love here. Moshe has a uh, shop business, so sometimes he does kiddish, sometimes I do kiddish. You know, we all take turns. All the activities that take place in the kitchen are a huge component of life skills. They're able to accomplish much more than anyone would ever have thought they could do. Sometimes we make calzones, and or lasagna, or macaroni and cheese. I want to thank Abby and Aniela to, to make us to be independent. We're seeing five years of high school, five years of doing all that very intensely with each student coming all together into not a class, but life. The Sinai children belong to this community, they have a place in this community, they deserve a Jewish education, and they can be contributing members to our community in a very positive way. All the children of Bergen County need and deserve to have a premier Jewish education. And until now, many of them could not. And Sinai offers them that chance. We know that there are many, many children out there who could benefit from a Sinai program who do not yet have the opportunity to do so. Sinai is, um, is a responsibility of the community. Sinai is something that is essential. It's not something that's a perk, it's not something that's a plus, it's not something that's a nice chesed project. Uh, Sinai is essential. Mm -hmm.